Hello. What's up? Good morning. How's it going? Oops. Dropped my Riesley upgrade. YouTube chat. Hello. How's it going? New cut? No, it's called a shower. No! <laughs> I just brush my hair back when I get out of the shower. That's how I style my hair. Who are we playing today? Frick the ads. Hello. Who are we playing today? Chat, pick a character. Should you pull new lay away for Arlequino? Who do you like more? I guess it will change the answer. How does Candice Yao Yao Bloom work? You want to see that? Uh, it works by just using Yao Yao's normal attacks. Sethos Kaiba is real. Another leaker bombs their credibility by getting something incredibly obvious wrong. Classic. <laughs> How do they keep getting away with it? Wait, what's wrong? Team Mew said he had gray, uh, gray and white hair. <laughs> they got the banners right? The banners were reported um, a month ago? At the start of the beta, the banners were reported. That doesn't mean anything. No game sound? One sec. Let me check that. Uh, you are correct. You guys do have no sound. There's, no, we don't know. I can neither confirm nor deny. I don't know, but I, I hope it's not correct. I really want Jeffrey's on the banner. He's just Sumeru gaming. <laughs> That's boring, bruh. Sino Yugi vs. Sethos Kaiba. So OBS forced me to uh, do a graphics card update. Or a, Jeep, a driver update. And I'm pretty sure Genshin is running worse, though. <laughs> I'm reasonably sure Genshin is running worse, though.
We'll worry about that later. Yeah, Genshin is not running very well right now. I have Arlequino on Optimizer. Do you have Arlequino on Optimizer? No, uh, it's called Little Bro. It's a unsupported fork. Not. It is unofficial. Unofficial Genshin Optimizer. Bootlegged. Thank you. Now you just bootleg my optimizer real quick. Uh, here, I'll send you the link. Here. You need to export your JSON from main optimizer. Six is so cool. You're excited. I haven't watched the trailer yet. We're gonna watch it in a second. I think adventuring or Fushuan is a better pull if you're not gonna pull for Topaz. I don't know. I don't know. Should we watch the trailer now? Between resin refreshing. Yeah, let's let's watch the trailer real quick. Genshin Impact. Two worlds aflame. The Crimson Knight fades. Alright, this is an actual live reaction. I have not seen this yet. On occasion, we hold barbecue dinners at the house. They hunt for food, compete with each other, even cooperate. They enjoy participating in activities like that, and the feeling is mutual. Barbecue. After all, it's always possible certain familiar faces she will a be grill missing dad? from the crowd the next time a similar event rolls around. Is she a grill dad? Something has come up, and since it pertains to Cyrus oh, and Sino, I deemed it essential to inform you of <laughs> It was a great plan, shrouded in secrecy. We all gathered around and oh, it's celebrated finally happening. the revival of our lord. <laughs> That's how I gained my power. The old man's been putting the pressure Ooh. on me. He sent someone to tell me I'm needed for some sort of project. Project oh, Stasia? Participating in the plan will lose a lot of members in the process. I did not anticipate we would meet again after presenting you with the Gnosis. If you accept my proposal, Monsieur Nevelet, unless absolutely necessary, I will no longer carry out any special missions within the Fontaine. Transfixed Everlasting as the moon Man, I miss you, Pink Chan An order once given cannot be rescinded Oh, is that Cephas? Do you have any idea what you're doing? You're Wait, who is that? Oh, that is Cephas, I see a scarf and cannot be rescinded. Do you have any idea what you're doing? You're hiding the very person Father has been trying to find. I really didn't mean to drag anyone else into this. If Father finds out about this, everyone involved is going to be punished. A traitor. Sino was chosen, but he was not the only one. <gasps> You'd like me to return my power? I'm really looking forward to this rite of duels. <laughs> the wisdom of Hermanubis would have been ours. I want you to become the next king of the house. Yet you seem to have different ideas. I'm not saying I have all the answers, but doing so will only bring us further away from being a real family. Your words paint an optimistic picture indeed. Allow me to remind you, however, 
few among us are willing to sip from a glass filled with tasty water. We, I'll make sure it's drained of all impurities and returned to its cleanest. Let me, new father. Good things come to children who do as they're told. So I do hope you decide to tag along. There are many dangers ahead, and I, for one, don't intend to back down. I don't want to disobey an order from father. So why? Why have you backed us into a corner? No demonstration of loyalty shall go unrewarded. And no sacrifice shall be in vain. I miss you, Ping Chen. This music is not good. <laughs> Sag. It's unfortunate. Ugh. Oh well. Uh, I'm sorry. Sino is gonna have an epic duel <laughs> over someone who wants his powers? Yo! <laughs> the wisdom of Hermanubis would have been ours. <laughs> Chosen. But he was not the only one. He was not the only one. You'd like me to return my power? Oh my god. <laughs> Their duel will be legendary. I'm really looking forward to this rite of duels. The wisdom of Hermanubis would have been ours. I'm excited. <laughs> Such a joke. I'm so excited. Oh my god, it's such a joke. I'm excited for this. They should do it. This is gonna be a good one. And then, Linny is gonna be the new father of the house. Do I need the codes? Yeah, I need the codes. Let's go, Linny! Linny, my goat! I Linny, new father. It looks like he's 12. Okay, and? He might be the new father, but he still calls you daddy. Sethos is actually an electro character. Is he really gonna Will be Sino? How do we know he's an electro character? Do we get a good view of his vision? Do we get a good view of his vision? Yeah. Oh, the majesty of the rock and roll king of Hanamisaka. Whatever you say. What do you know about rock and roll? Let's go! Daily Edo event! Patch the Edo event. Every patch Edo oh, event. Let's go. Then bring it on. Oh, Paimon's <laughs> bringing it, all right. Ha! Arataki Rockin' for Life Tour. Deforce of Awesomeness. <laughs> Wait, this is this is an adorable Lushi. Do you get a you get a tuba? You get a tuba. Tuba and Goro. all the fountain music. Take pictures of dogs? How do we get a pet the cat event and a take pictures of dogs event? What is this animalism? I won't stand for it. Where's my pet the dog event? What the fuck? What the fuck, Oyo? What the fuck? The tuba. You get a playable dog. We got a pl free playable cat first. Wait, what? Capture the flag? Wait. 
Windtrace has captured the flag now? This is awesome. <laughs> this is so Chat, look. Look. Look, chat, look. It's pure fiction in Genshin Impact. Pyro <laughs> Wretch is fine. <laughs> okay. Overflowing Mastery, cool. New weapon, Crimson Moon Semblance. New artifacts, Unfinished Revere, Fragment of Harmonic Whimsy, Four Piece Frog. Alright then. Back to Genshin. Uh, where is this shot confirming Sethos? Do you think Sethos is going to have an identical kit to. Uh, Sino? What are the chances? What are the chances he's literally Sino? <laughs> he... <coughs> he has the same powers. He's actually just Sino 2 or Sino again? Is that those big Sino? What if he's just Sino? <laughs> Is Unfinished Revere better than Water's True for Burn Melt? Yes, if you play Burn Melt, it is. Uh, best in slot gun, you said. Considering Chiori is Albedo, you could see it. The difference is Sino's a five star. And there's a pretty good chance Sethos is a four star. <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna put this one out there, chat. <laughs> Don't count on Sethos being a five star. <laughs> Sethos versus Chlorine, PvP. Who will be the five star? Si I'm sorry. Sethos versus Sigwain. Who will be the five star? Sethos aggravate support for Zyno. He could be a four star on kill DPS like Gaming. He could be a Gaming. He could be actually Gaming to uh, Sino's D Luke. Did I already redo my early kingdom weapon calcs? Uh, at this point, I'm just going for life. Bro, it looks like the most four star character to ever four star. Don't be Starist. He didn't choose this life. <laughs> Four stars are really good in this game, by the way, chat. The Starus regime. He looks like the most five star character ever that, uh, that ever five star recently. Sigwin is the four star. Earlier leak said five star. What's true? No way. I don't know, if we get th if we really do get three characters next update, it's gonna be a little interesting to see if they do two four stars or two five stars. Because they've done both. Uh, if it's two five stars, it's actually gonna be Sethos and Sigwin PvP, who will be the five star. <laughs> Take 
take your bets. You bet on Chlorine being the four star? Sigwin is four star. Chlorine is four star. Sethos is four star. The region trailers only show us five stars now. I don't think so. How many Sido supports will they release? As many as it takes. Do I like Farina's hairstyle? Uh, yeah, when well, she gets a cut, it's pretty nice. The tails are weird. Weird jellyfish cut before she uh, cleans it up. Tell Sino's good, never happening. I mean, they actually could just do a new Sino. Psy 2. Why does Bennett make you take more damage? He inflicts you with a Pyro Aura. <laughs> Enemies react off of you, <laughs> causing you to take additional damage. That's how. She's got an Ahoga. Imagine Chlorin mains. Sino announces she's going to standard. Did I just read Hoyo as Sino? It's early. <laughs> it's early. Quit hell, Clorin. At this point in chat, Clorin won't be a Eula support, but Sethos could be. Have we seen Sethos's vision? Allegedly, he's Electro. What are the four stars on oh, Arlequino Manor? I wish I knew. Have I seen a theory Columbina will be the next Harbinger Weekly? They're ordered from the Harbinger Constellations. That is really interesting. Maybe. Huh. Yeah, allegedly, if you look at this picture, he's uh, he's got something on his waist. <laughs> Apparently, it's an Electrovision. It's really hard to tell. <laughs> Why, why Thundering Fury? Does Sino have a second story quest? Why Thundering Fury? Did they scrap the Mummy Girl and replace them with Sethos? That's my real question. Sethos? Did they scrap the Mummy Girl and replace them with Sethos? I'm pretty sure they did. Sad. Yes, chat. Sethos was originally a little girl. Ah, they're still coming. 
Yeah, they're gonna come with male Kirara. Yes, originally the Mummy Girl was supposed to be in Story Quest Act 2. Saito's Story Quest Act 2 is introducing Sethos. Lament. Mommy girl for Natlin? I think she's scrapped. I don't think she's happening. I think she got turned into Sethos. There's also the goth girl we never got. Yes, there's also the goth girl we never got. Momoka is literally Kirawa. Yeah, but they turned Kirawa into a Dendro character. <laughs> yeah, but they did. <laughs> uh, there's also uh, goth boy, the bat boy, Dahlia. I think Dahlia will still get introduced. I don't know what they're waiting on, but I do think Dahlia will still be introduced. He might look a little different, though. <laughs> Dolly, come on the port, Ormos. Uh, port, Dorman port, there we go. Blech. Dormos. Dorman. Waiting for Marco. Waiting for Monstrad expansion. They're hard at work on the Monstrad expansion. Surely. <laughs> we'll get another one. Dragon's Fighting won't be the last one. Yeah, Stalia is already mentioned in lore. He's the bishop at the church. Rosaria Barber co worker. Waiting for another leeway expansion. They're really speedrunning Wanderer Baiju to Chronicle. Yeah, I guess I'm going to pull for um, Toya Toya's Remembrance on the Chronicle banner. Probably in 4.8. <laughs> Seems like they're speedrunning getting uh, characters for Chronicle. So I guess I won't pull Toya Toya this banner. I was going to, but... Not another donut. Not another donut. Is GNC2 good for Arlequino normal attack spam? No. Arlequino literally can't be healed. What is the advantage of using Gene? <laughs> the reason you cope with Gene is she's a healer. Play it though, I actually got donated twice. Yes, yes, it did. All right, let's get rolling. Oh, okay, yeah, what do you guys think about this? Check out our daily recently upgrade. Tragic. I'm saving that. I'm saving. That needs to be added to Optimizer.
That also needs to be added to optimizer. Okay. Cool. Hello. How's it going? She really wants those attack slips on GT. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. It's my best Sapphire you know. Uh, I believe it's gilded. Into the blender. Into the blender. Why do I even bother with this, uh... You know what, we're just trying to box something cool. Like Shimano's. How much difference is better, GT or GD? It's technically in favor of GT. Can't believe I'm still coping on which. Which. Which, which is which. Okay, out of the piece, uh, we need to go into here. Reesley. They changed the UI again, by the way. FYI, they changed the UI again. <clears throat> Did they make it less bad? No, they made it so you have to pick the character now. When you open up the team, you get a blank screen. <laughs> you get a blank screen now. Ask me why. How do they keep making it worse? I don't know. I just don't understand why they had to make a blank screen. Okay, we can look at the Nikito board, though. Um, that's something we can look at. Okay, never mind. Smart for that. 2.50 EM, not enough to sway things. This I do need to check, though. And the EM isn't enough to say things. They cooking an entirely new version of the optimizer too are they if they are i won't make an optimizer good <sighs> optimizer guy would be nice though if they're gonna change it all, we there's no reason to do it. <coughs> Optimizer based halt. 
Crits nice when you can get it. Possible content. Go next. Uh, artifact upgrade damage probability calculator. Go next. Do a calc engine. This isn't a UI change. This is a backend and a database change. I think this is just backend, isn't it? I think we're safe. I think we're safe. But yeah, I don't, mm, maybe just wait. Maybe we just wait. We'll watch the trailer again in a second. You guys wanna watch it in another language? ではサイラス。提案を受け入れてくださるのであれ。不可避な場合を除き、コンテイヌで特殊任務を遂行することはないと約束しよう。I think it's really interesting that they intercut the Arlequino and Sino quests. Because <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, they have nothing to do with each other. ヘルマノビスの知恵はここに降臨していたはずだ。君に次の王を託したい。君自身 君たちが折り込んでいてくれたら、あの子たちはまだ生き延びられる望みがあるかもしれない。家に様々な危険が迫っている時期に決して逃げたりはしません。
I forgot. I forgot this was at the end. <laughs> they could have tried to intercut the Edo event with uh, the Sino quest and the Arlecchino quest. That'd be really funny to try to weave that thread. <sighs> That would be really funny. Bro thinks he's on the team. Yeah, he is. Event Archon, you know, again. He is a. He knows all over the place. He knows the real Mr. International. The Ido events are always fun, though. Ido's funny. Ido's a funny guy. Patch is so dead, we have to watch an announcement in every language to fill the void. Huh. We could pet the cat. Chat, let's go pet cats. Wait, what? How do I pet the cat? There's another room. Okay, we need comfiness, maximized, and aesthetics. Is it in the cabinets? Is it in the chairs? Is it in the light? I don't understand why this is a puzzle. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> it's literally just guess and check. They don't give you any information. You looked at a furniture guide? I haven't had to look at a furniture guide yet, so I'd rather not. We got it. <laughs> Pet the cat. Load limit reached. I like that there's a gameplay tutorial for petting the cat. Yo, he just bit me. Yo, what the fuck, cat? You're a cat hole. He likes his back paws, but not the front paws? And his tail? Bruh. This cat is whack. This cat is whack. Okay, don't touch him anywhere on his face or his legs. This cat is on hard mode. Well, the tip of the tail. It likes the tip of the tail? It really likes the tip of the tail. Wait, don't fucking bite me. Where is the missing cat zone? We're missing one cat zone. We're missing two cat zones. We did it. New quest. Wait 24 hours? 
What? It's a quest? <laughs> it's not... Bruh. I have to assume it's this, uh, it's this cat with a scar. You're offended by this soulless cheap copy that doesn't even make you bleed. <laughs> the real cat is coming. <sighs> Go to the furball fortress. Big ferocious cat. I'm scared. Cat boss. It's time for the cat boss fight. Let's beat that pussy. Sir Pounce, did she just name him? Sir Pounce a lot? Portuguese, it's Meowtorious. <laughs> this cat has cupcakes. Sir pounce a lot, slightly relaxes. That's a big cat. <laughs> That's a big <laughs> That's a big cat. Alright, we've already minus zeroed. Oh my god, it's actually a cat boss fight. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is a Silent Hill puzzle. I'm gonna pet the tail. Well, this cat has unique animations. Pet the ears. Does not like his front. Does like the belly? He likes the belly. Back paw? Front paw? Other paw. Other arm. We're gonna beat the cat. We're gonna successfully complete the cat boss fight. Did I rub the butt? I did rub the butt. Tip of the tail? Nope. Cheek? No. Top of his head? No. There we go, we did it. There we go, we did it. We successfully beat the cat boss fight. <laughs> did they hire a cat VA? Yes, they probably got one of the designer's cats to just do audio.
Hello, Albedo. It's Albedo's cat? It's Albedo's cat? Is that half a Chiori? I don't have any refreshments. <laughs> Albedo has a right to investigate her business. Valerina frantically searches for relevant documents. Thank God they didn't show me any of that. Wow. They really saved a lot of money. <laughs> Team Feline Treatment Case 3, Sir Pouncelot. That is a big cat. This cat is a member of the Knights of Favonius. <laughs> this cat. Uh, this cat is a warrior. They're sending that cat to war zones? Yes. They said investigation team? Does that make it Eula's cat? No, Eula's on the reconnaissance team. Very different. It's three times as big as a normal cat. Big cat versus sword dog. In 1.2, Rosario was super sus of Albedo. What happened? There were three events. One of them, she got inexplicably replaced by Eula. <laughs> there were three quests. In one of them, she got replaced by Eula for some reason. Instead of Rosaria fighting Alvedo, Eula fights Alvedo. <laughs> uh, they benched Alvedo's winter events. It was all he had. He's going to get another one. Have you not heard? Uh, there is data mine for an Albedo skin. They only make skins for benched characters. I don't understand. Why do they do this? I don't understand. You know, a character is retired when they get a skin. You know? Ugh. That's just Chiori. No, he's actually getting a skin. Apparently, he's genuinely getting a skin. They only make skins for retired characters. It's wild. It's their retirement gift. Kutau's skin after Arlequino? Mm, maybe. I'll tell you now. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's official skin. Well, that's the exception. I guess official is the exception. Now, Beto, with that Chioria drip. Did we ever find out Chiori's name? We had a discussion about this. Did we ever agree?
Did we ever reach the a point of consensus regarding Chiori's name? It's Chioria. <laughs> it's Chi <laughs> It's not Chioria. Ms. Chiori. Chiori Sato. This is a joke that I, I think I understand. <laughs> That's Jean, though. I am Chiori. I don't think we have her name. Wait, her vision came to her after she left Inazuma? Why does she have an Inazuma vision? Excuse me. What? <laughs> Excuse me. Huh? It was after she decided to, not after she actually left. Oh, okay. That makes all the sense in the world. Maybe she didn't leave by then, I guess. It's John Chiori people. No need to argue. Good old semantics. Bruh. Hey, that has its own laws. Well, it does. She leave before, during, or after the Vision Hunt Decree? I don't know. How long was the Vision Hunt Decree? I don't know. Wasn't it like a generation? Only like one and a half years? Wow, that's a short decree. No, it was short. It's as short as Zhao. It's very lamentable. What happens if you get a vision at the border between two regions? <laughs> what? <laughs> we know less than two years passed since we arrived only after one anniversary of it. Whack. Yo! Oh yeah, go watch the Arlequino video. Ding dong. Jack, go watch the Arlequino video. It's now available. Can we put down the big cat? What do I need to get rid of to put down the big cat? What do I need to <laughs> I can get rid of that rug. I can get rid of that chair. We can put down the big cat. Wait, the cat is small? Why is the cat small? I thought it was gonna be the size of the dog. Oh, it is the size of the dog. Oh, it is the size of the dog. Yeah, that is a dog-sized cat. <laughs> can you interact with it? No, you cannot pet the cat in your teapot. You can pet this cat, I think. I think you can try to pet this cat. It's a leopard. It really is just a big cat. It's a furniture that lets you pet them? Does it let you pet the dog? We need to pet the dog. 
Wait. You can actually fight the dog? He's not gonna fight, he parries you. Knock that dog on his ass, Shiori. Literally listening to a dog. What the cat doing? It's a big cat. <laughs> big cat. Stop abusing the animals. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Here, I do have a cat fun fact in Genshin Impact, and I want to see if it works on uh, the big cat. This is Amber. Amber hates cats. <laughs> Wait, where'd the cat? There's the cat. Cat, stop moving! Oh my god, this cat is fast. <laughs> oh my! We should try Jean. Do not throw the cat. I like yours, by the way. Do not be, what's the stream? Alinity? Who just throws cats? What is the fun fact? Well, here's a fun fact. Jean picks up cats. <laughs> Jean picks. Jean is the cat thrower. She's her. Anyway. Really, this the cat? It's too big. Does Cosmo E skill work? No. I think it's only Gene. Maybe Cosmo does. I'm not sure. Bark Souls. The samurai dog is a yeah, a master. Really is. The reason they had to make a cat shelter is so Gene would stop throwing them. Bruh. Ugh. So I guess we should actually watch the live stream, right? Where's the live stream? Millennia since the fall of Emuria, 
and its history has long faded into the mists of mythology and superstition. Oh, there's a unique opening for this? Legends tell of how before the birth of the Court of Fontaine, there oh. was an empire known as Remuria. Is there actually lore here? Remurians believed their king, Remus, would bring eternal prosperity to the islands of the high sea. However... The God King's seers prophesied discord. The greatest empire will face the most utter destruction. And this is Fortuna. Thus did the God King derive the primordial plan from the cycle of the seven days and winds blowing over sea and land, and composed a splendorous symphony based upon. He believed that the polities could escape fate's judgment and attain eternal paradise if they harmonized with his perfect symphony. But today... Welcome to the Genshin Impact version 4.6 special program! Let's take a look at the trailer! On occasion, we okay, hold we barbecue the trailer. Skip. at the house. Skip! Arlequino! Experiencing new content related to the House of the Hearth in the upcoming version. Aaron, why don't you give us a rundown on what sort of organization the House of the Hearth is? Yes, it would be my pleasure. Based on the most recent intelligence reports, the House of the Hearth is a Fatui intelligence organization operated by the Knave. Uh, it takes in children who no longer have a home due to all manner of reasons, and they receive an education in a variety of disciplines. Naturally, at the same time as they racing time. a home, the children also Brew. take on various responsibilities. Can't erase time! Okay. Someone explain it! Know from the game. How does King uh, it work? Yes, everyone knows that the House of the Hearth is a rather complicated orphanage, and the Knave, the fourth harbinger of the Fatui, is still hiding many unsolved mysteries. So how about we start diving into all the new information that we have about our Latino? Let's do it! Yes, let's do it! Okay, okay, first, I, I want to hear it straight from y'all. What kind of person do you think the Knave is? Ooh. Oh my gosh, I'm feeling a lot of pressure right now. Can I turn the sound up? Yes, I can. all sorts of deja vu. Too loud. Um, I guess during the Fontaine Archon quest, I noticed that Arlequina was really skilled at directing the conversation. Her way of speaking was incredibly refined and polite, but she was also incredibly intimidating. <laughs> I mean, remember how Farina pretended not to recognize her and talked about having nightmares? I totally get where she was coming from. To explain King but Crimson, need to pre that's just perceive an it. Okay, the problem with how King Crimson works is it's inconsistent. Um, when Polnareff meets the... When they fight King Crimson the second time with Polnareff, Polnareff reveals a trick to know when King Crimson erases time that shouldn't work. It just shouldn't work. <laughs> King Crimson is inconsistent, and that's the problem. Fighter's point of view, right? What is the knave like as a parent? It's the problem. I it's not Damon consistent. It doesn't really make sense. To that question. <laughs> okay, take it away. <laughs> okay, you were hoping that I would be the weakest link. Yeah. Well, <laughs> she's a very strict father. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. Strict. Um. Hmm. All right. It sounds like she gives everyone an intimidating impression. Yeah, but I think Arlequino loves all of the house's children equally, and she would never treat them harshly for no reason. Though, the kids feel a lot of pressure during her lessons and are often scared speechless by her stern attitude. It's probably for their own good. In an organization like the Fatui, these kids actually need to be more mature, tough, and patient than other children who are their age, you know? Mm, that's actually kind of sad, though, isn't it? It is, yeah, yeah. Who Crimson works and this doesn't. Nave? I it just works! Why are they this way? <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, wait. Are you trying to say that she treats the kids like that because she was traumatized? Ooh, okay. Now that's very sharp. Are they going to talk about her abilities, please? Are Lakino's secrets hidden for just a little bit longer. I guess not. Okay. Oh, here we go. Deadly fighting style. Here we go. <laughs> this is what I want to say. Yeah. Staring into my eyes is ill-advised. I can't promise you'll like what you see. I see X's. Transfixed. Are you dead, Orlikino? You have you have literally X's over your eyes. Yeah, I miss you, Pink Chan. 
This is where you fall. It's a shame. Oh, oh, so cool. that was awesome. <laughs> I like how she glides. Yes. Yes. Yeah, she's very elegant. Like that was a perfect descriptor. Like elegant but deadly. Like a yes, like a ballerina of death. Yes. Ballerina yes. of she's death. So effortless. I know, right? Yes. All right. Well, if we're going to talk about Arlequino's <laughs> combat abilities, then we're gonna have to talk about the bond of life mechanic. No, uh, you you might have been a no, to it while you were fighting no, elite Fatui operatives in Fontaine. Uh, Ooh, so I still remember what a bond of life is. Uh, yo, wait, are you gonna be when Arlequino's elemental skill strikes opponents and applies blood debt directive to them for a period of time, when she uses charge attack or her elemental burst hits opponent, blood debt directive, she absorbs and clears all blood debt directive. This grants her bond of life worth percentage max HP. Her abilities? Mask Guys, of the Red Death. Too loud. Pipe oh. down. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Let's listen to what she has to say. Wait, I, I think I remember. It's the red portion of the HP bar. When you have a bond of life active, it'll absorb any healing that yep. your character receives. So they can't regain HP until the bond of life value has been healed. Yeah. Yes. Right? Very good, <laughs> student. <laughs> Except Arlequino can't be healed. So are you telling me this? <laughs> Except she literally can't be healed. Arlequino <laughs> has a bond of life greater than or equal to a certain percentage of her health bar, her oh, normal God. charged and plunging attacks will be converted to pyro damage, which can't be overridden by other elemental infusions. And while she's oh. in this state, her normal- I actually want to check the timing on her N3. Overridden by other elemental infusions. And while she's in this state- Okay, so there's N3. Her normal attacks will consume a portion of her current bond of life to deal hmm. more damage and reduce the remaining cooldown on her elemental skill. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 know, a it's a lot, it's a lot. <laughs> so you're saying that she'll deal more damage with her normal attack when her bond of life is higher? <laughs> Put simply, yes. Whoa, 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 wait a second. <laughs> no, wait, I get it. Wait, so uh, Arlequino can give herself a bond of life, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I think so. I mean, otherwise she'd have to chase down enemies who can put a bond of life on her. <laughs> Actually, that that sounds kind of uh. funny. <laughs> I'd like to see that. Uh, and that brings us to our elemental skill. Our Lakino skill doesn't just damage enemies. It also applies a blood debt directive to Wing. any enemy that it hits, which will damage them periodically. And when she uses a charged attack or her elemental burst, she'll absorb nearby blood debt directives. This also allows her to obtain a bond of life based on the number of directives that she absorbed. So don't worry, Max. Oh, I was very concerned. <laughs> I know, I know you were. Okay, hold on. She can't regain HP until her bond of life is removed, right? So how does she stay in the fight? Well, after dishing out damage, Arlequina's <sighs> elemental burst will reset the cooldown of her elemental skill and heal her based on her attack and her current bond of life. Oh, okay. Also, thanks to one of her talents, while Arlequino is in combat, she gains bonus pipe. Wait, did you just not nuke her bond of, of life? Talents, while Arlequino is in combat, she gains bonus pyro damage, but also cannot be affected by oh, rewind. and her current bond of life. I want to see the burst. Oh, okay. Also, thanks to one of... No, oh, rewind. I want to see the burst. So, how does she stay in the fight? Well, after dishing out damage, Arlequino's elemental burst will reset oh, they don't the show the of burst. her no, they do. skill and heal her. Okay, no, it does reset her bond. on her attack and her current bond of life. Oh, okay. Also, cool. thanks to one of her talents, while Arlequino is in combat, she gains bonus pyro damage, but also cannot be affected by any healing effects other than the healing provided by her burst. Oh, so I, that seems like she's as ruthless to herself yeah, as she yeah. is to her mm. enemies. Like she needs therapy, probably. <laughs> <laughs> she's kind of a savage. I mean, <laughs> um, right. So Arlequino even has a special kind of move. I mean, <laughs> um, right. So Arlequino Those even has a special bond? kind of movement. When <laughs> she's as ruthless to herself yeah. as by her birth but also cannot be affected by any healing effects other than the healing provided by her burst. Oh, so I, that seems the burst. like she's as ruthless to herself skill. as she is to her mm. enemies. Like she needs therapy, probably. <laughs> I don't think they get to use the skill, though. <laughs> she's kind of a savage. I mean... <laughs> no, that's the burst. Um, right, so Arlequino even has a special kind of movement whenever she uses her charged attack, mm. right? Ooh, that looks perfect for scaring your enemies. Yes. Yeah, and for putting some serious pressure on them. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Oh, it's yes, about the full time bar's to introduce the event correct. wishes in version 4.6. You guys ready? Ooh, let's yeah. do it. So exciting! All right. During the first phase of version 4.6, Arlequino, Arlequino up. and Linny will up. both enjoy a drop rate boost. The all-new five-star polearm Crimson Moon semblance will also become available. Yeah. Also. The Wanderer and Baiju will return in the second phase. <laughs> the Wanderer and Baiju. Oh, boy. <laughs> so be sure to keep an eye out. Yay! Oh, oh my gosh, that's so amazing. <laughs> okay, so Aaron and Damon, do you have any other news you'd like to share? We're <gasps> Actually, Sethos. I do. Let's mm -hmm. discuss the new weekly boss. Oh, oh, right. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> well, Sino wanted to investigate personally Show me because someone involved in the case has a very unique identity, and the two of them share a close connection. Uh, sounds like there's some serious shenanigans going That's on. That's right. Is this a case where we get to use violence <laughs> if the situation gets too complicated? Yes. These are all very good guesses. <laughs> it's in the trailer? Oh, okay. I'll offer you one clue that you probably wouldn't be able to guess otherwise. Well, there he is. Mysterious young with connections to the mystery will make his day no it's right there in the live stream no it was the live stream it wasn't the trailer is that an electrovision enhance enhance one second Enhance! I guess it is. I guess. <laughs> Wait, is that a Fontaine vision? No? No. Samara Visions have a point at the top. <laughs> he has purple clothes on. He has green eyes, though. Look at his face. Honestly, his face is kind of whack. <laughs> but I'll offer you one clue that you probably wouldn't be able to guess otherwise. A mysterious young... His face doesn't match his body and his hair. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't think his face matches his body or his hair. <laughs> I don't think his face works. <laughs> he looks really menacing from behind. <laughs> and then you see him from the front. <laughs> and then you see him. Start <laughs> with connections to the mystery will make his He looks really menacing from behind. Debut during the case. Hmm. And Sino's friends are not just freeloaders who only show up for food. <laughs> Tainari, Kale, Alhatham, and Kave will all come to support him. Tainari, Kale, Alhatham, and Kave are in Story Quest Act 2 for Sino. Pog. When he's in a pinch. So, yeah, if you want to know more about what happens in this case, then be sure to check out Sino's second Story Quest, Lupus Arius Act 2. Travelers can venture to Sumeru and investigate the secrets lurking underneath the sands. In due time, of course. <laughs> Sarah, you totally delivered. That was great news. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Speaking of great news, Ooh. I think Damon also has wait. some important information wait, to share. Wait, 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 wait. Really? Wait, yes. wait, wait. What are we wait. waiting for? We've just presented too much information too quickly. C can, we, can we take a break, please, so we can digest oh, all of it, please? Damon. Please, please. He can't keep getting away I with this. Do know. <laughs> For real? Right. No, no, Damon, you're right. I know. Let's check out the first redemption code before we continue introducing the new content. That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. I want to see the new enemies. I think we're focused on the wrong thing here. This is where the kingdom of Remuria's remains lay at rest. So how big was such a glorious and prosperous nation, really? Mm. Oh, well, not a... Sus Norwalk. Wait. Little... What? <laughs> Why is there a swimming cat? <laughs> oh, 
capital town looks huh? a whole lot bigger. Now that's a neat trick. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> this is where we'll meet a so. talking cat. With its guidance, we will be able to see the civilization that vanished thousands of years ago. What? Oh my god. Oh, that's cats amazing. just for this. Anything for a talking cat. <laughs> <laughs> As Aaron mentioned at the beginning of the program, King Reem has composed a symphony, one with wondrous power that grants the wishes of the gadget? human souls dwell. Wait, we can have a cat in a bubble as an exploration gadget? I might actually use this one. <laughs> yes, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm. I. I actually. I don't You're get it. You're so not getting it. Get That's it. okay. I will explain <laughs> it in a few words. So you'll just have to learn about the symphony by going on an adventure with this little cat. I'll avoid spoiling the adventure itself, but you'll arrive at the Remoria ruins with the cat. The kingdom's remnants slumber in the depths where the sunlight can't reach. You'll meet a dragon in the deep seas. <gasps> dun, 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 dun. Dun. So you'll be able to obtain powers relating to the city, which will help you explore the lost realm of Remuria. <sighs> you'll be able to pause the melody within the realm of this ancient Hear civilization. Me out. You can also unseal time in places where it stopped. So oh, these cool. powers will let you interact with specific objects. Totally. Ooh. Proclaiming the immortality and glory of Statue a great of Marble and Brass. It awaits a warrior who would dare challenge the majesty of the ancient ruler. Oh, Not the cat yeah, jet. that's right. The Statue of Marble and Brass will soon be coming as a boss. You can earn all sorts of materials if you manage to beat it in a chat. <laughs> all right, let's see. <laughs> I'm so hyped for it. Me oh too. my gosh, yes. And Damon, you did such a great yes, job with introducing it. That was great. <laughs> great. That was great, yeah. Damon. Wait, but real quick, quick question. Yeah. How do we even get to such a remote little island? That is a great question. Travelers who have already completed I think the third act anything about of it. the Archon Quest, Song of the Dragon and Freedom, will automatically <laughs> unlock a teleport waypoint in the village of Petricor. I'm going to guess no. Hopefully this helps travelers with exploring yeah, the new area. I've heard that this feature will return for many new areas in the future. Uh, yeah, so no. I know. So cool. <laughs> all right. That's all the information that we have about Fontaine for now. It's Edo of Welcome back, everyone. Hey. <laughs> okay. Edo's coming to Edo's. A, mu a musical tour is coming to Inazuma. Wait, it's an Inazuma event? Musical tour is coming to Inazuma, and the organizer is none other than Arataki Ito himself. <laughs> <laughs> Max, would you like to tell us more about it? It would be my absolute pleasure, compadre. So I got a question. Does everyone still remember Dvorak? Mm -hmm. um... Of course. He participated in last year's Lantern Rite, mm -hmm. right? That's oh, right, yeah. Both Hutao sure. and Shinyan performed there. Mm -hmm. That's Ooh. right. And this time, it's an epic tour for the ages, organized <laughs> by none other than Ito and Dvorak. Oh. oh, my gosh. And even the concert name sounds really epic. Yeah, oh, does. yeah. No, the way he says, iridescent, arataki, rockin' for life, tour to force of awesomeness, really gives off the feeling of rock and roll. Wow. Yeah. Oh and the theme of this concert is about... Rock and roll concert. The instrument is a tuba. The instrument. <laughs> Life. Specifically, it's about a brave pilot it's a tuba. who saved the lives of countless other creatures on the battlefield. Aww, that's so cute. Adorable. I'm French really horn goes hard. Yeah. It's not a tuba. Yeah, me too. I really hope the Music Festival of Life will inspire Bruh. everyone to unleash their own rock and roll spirit. Would you rather call it a and trumpet? I'll let you know <laughs> a little secret. Ito himself will personally be performing on the big stage. <gasps> Are we going to get an Edo rap? We're going to get an Edo song in the event? <laughs> We're going to get... <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, that's going to be awesome. Yes, it will be. And yes, it is a free gore after you just got C6. Here's more exclusive news for you. Dvorak will be giving away a brand new musical instrument to our travelers called... The night wind horn. Ooh. So if you enjoy Ooh. playing music in real life, or especially if you enjoy playing music in the game, be sure to check it out. Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing more amazing performances from all the great musicians out there. Are you now? Well, since you're so excited about it and the festival, why don't you help launch the Arataki Rockin' for Life Tour to Force of Awesomeness? Yeah, I'll try to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's three steps to preparing for the festival. Cookie is nowhere to be seen again. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking? <laughs> She's right there. D do you see her behind Yoimiya's ferret? Why does Yoimiya have a ferret? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> oh, 
Why does Yoimiya have a ferret? And Kuki has a bird. Strongest rapper in history versus the strongest rapper from today. The crow is Sara. Yoimiya brought a ferret back from Sumeru. Is that canon? <laughs> Doesn't Raiden have no physical form? Is that if you let on the right? Is that Yes. <laughs> She's a sword. Okay. <laughs> There's a reason Raiden doesn't appear at events. It's their own rock and roll <laughs> spirit. And, I'll let you in on a little secret, Ito himself will personally be performing on the big stage. <gasps> what? Ooh. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be awesome. Nice. Yes, it will be. And here's more exclusive news for you. Yeah. Dvorak will be giving away a brand new musical instrument to our travelers called the Nightwind Horn. Ooh. Ooh. So if you enjoy playing music in real life, or especially if you enjoy playing music in the game, be sure to check it out. I'm looking forward to seeing more amazing performances from all the great musicians out there. Are you now? Well, since you're so excited about it and the festival, why don't you help launch the Arataki Rockin' for Life Tour to force of awesomeness? Yeah, I'll try to. <laughs> all right, there's three steps to preparing for the festival. Number one. Extreme Carnival Ensemble. We can practice getting into the flow with some rhythm games while the stage is still coming together. Wow, those keys look really unique. Yeah, they really are. And the second task is called the Trillion <sighs> Trinket Tro- Cool. All right, that's it for the event. <laughs> All right, <laughs> I think we've seen it enough. Um, what do I think about this update? Oh, it's cool. I don't know. <laughs> it's on occasion, we hold barbecue dinners at the house. They hunt for. Arlequino throws barbecue parties. She's a grill dad. It's my real takeaway. Arle Arlequino could probably smoke up a mean brisket. <laughs> I'd try a brisket. For food, compete with each other, even cooperate. They enjoy participating in activities like that. At this point, you would argue the puppet is the real character. <laughs> and the feeling is mutual. After all, it's always possible certain Ugh. familiar faces will be missing from the crowd the next time a similar event rolls around. Sunday barbecue parties. Something has come up. And since it pertains to Cyrus and Sino, I deemed it essential to inform you all. It was a great plan shrouded in secrecy we all gathered around and celebrated the revival of our lord that's how i gained my power the old man's been putting the pressure on me he sent someone to tell me i'm needed for some sort of project project stuja participating in the plan will lose a lot of members in the process you know there it fontaine does have a lot of ocean do you think they have Louisiana cookouts or Texas barbecue? I guess it'd be closer to Louisiana. Huh. But I did not anticipate we would meet again. After it's French. So is Louisiana. So is Louisiana. <laughs> Fontaine has zero ocean. It's a lake. <sighs> Bruh. Gnosis. If you accept my proposal, Monsieur Nevelet, unless absolutely necessary, I will no longer carry out any special missions within Fontaine.
What is Louisiana food? Uh, Creole. It's a lot of seafood. Uh, gumbo. It's basically just a lot of seafood. Crawfish. Shrimp. Oysters. Transfixed. Everlasting as the moon. An order once given cannot be rescinded. Do you have any idea what you're doing? You're hiding the very person father has been trying to find. I really... Fried chicken. Where do you think Popeyes is from? <laughs> I didn't mean to drag anyone else into this. If father finds out about this, everyone involved is going to be punished. A traitor. Sino was chosen, but he was not the only one. You'd like me to return my power. Sino story quest too. Really you. looking forward to this right of duels. Right of duels. The wisdom of Hermanubis. Would have I can't do. What is Sethos gonna? Is Sethos gonna be a Sino support or a second Sino? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> I'm actually excited for that. Even if Sethos is a four star, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm very excited. <laughs> uh, this is this is gonna be a hype patch. I don't give a shit about theorycrafting chlorine. <laughs> we just need to we need to theorycraft Sethos. <laughs> we need to <laughs> This is very important. <laughs> this is very this is very important to me. We have to do this. <laughs> I want you to become the next king of the house. Yet you seem to have different ideas. I'm not saying I have all the answers, but doing so will only bring us further away from being a real family. Your words paint an optimistic picture indeed. Allow me to remind you, Helen. Yeah, fuck all the kid. I'm actually excited for uh, next patch's theory crafting. Chlorine, Seguin, and Sethos? Yes. <laughs> Clarence, Seguin, and Sethos. That's correct. <laughs> yes! <laughs> you among us are willing to sip from a glass filled with tainted water. We all make sure it's drained of all impurities and returned to its cleanest form. Two four stars or two five stars? Find out! <laughs> uh, find out! Take your bets. If it is two five stars, Seguin versus Sethos, who's the five star? Who's the five star? Who's the thor who's the four star? Does anyone know? Seguin Bingo. Who do as they're told. What about three so five stars? Seguin and Sethos five star, Clarin four star. Don't intend to back down. I don't want to disobey an order from Father. So why? Why have you backed us into a corner? No demonstration of loyalty shall go unnoticed. No way they're going to release a four-star Hydra. And no sacrifice shall be in vain. So those are re release means Treasureite will finally be useful? Or does it mean we'll use Scarabs? <laughs> if he's Sino's friend. I'm sorry, if he's Sino's rival, does it, maybe he just uses Scarabs. He could just use the same ads. Oh God. <laughs> he could use scarabs. It's either Trishorite or scarabs. I don't know which, but it's either one or the other. Anything but scarabs? Please know you've dodged farming scarabs until now. Honkai Star Rail Strongbox is better for liner drop rate. I don't think it does. I don't think it does. I wouldn't know. I haven't found it. I haven't looked into it. I can tell you it's 10 to 1, which is a fucking sham. <laughs> Holy shit. 10 to 1 is awful. Okay, Star Rail sucks. <laughs> anyway. Behold the majesty of the rock and roll king of... Sethos looks like really menacing from behind, and then you see his face, and he's like, "Me to return my power." Bruh. <laughs> really looking forward to this right of duel.
Like, they really do try to, like, play him off. He's got all this... He's drifting in the wind. <laughs> he's drifting. <laughs> His hair and cape are flowing. I don't know why they're trying to make him so menacing. <laughs> the wisdom of he's just a kitty. This would have been ours. I want you to become... Yeah, he does have Venti's face. Next king of the house. Yet you seem to have different... There are two different wind currents in that room. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> yes, side of stuff is flowing the opposite direction. You're correct. <laughs> You're correct. It's an anime. Leave him alone. <laughs> what if Sino's ears flopped in the wind? <laughs> you don't know why they mixed Sino and Arlequino's story quest in the trailer. You think it looks like a mess? I think it's an interesting choice for advertising. I, they should have tried to intercut the Arataki Ito rock and roll tour. <laughs> the Arlequino quest story. <laughs> they really should have tried. <laughs> Instead of just slapping at the end, it would have made the trailer a lot more cohesive and come together. <laughs> Behold the majesty of the rock and roll king of Hanamizaka! Whatever you say. What do you know about rock and roll, Bullchucker? Then bring it on. Oh, Paimon's bringing it, all right! Ha! I can't believe they just slapped it in the end. They should have mixed it in. <laughs> they should have been. Imagine if they mixed it in. If I knew how to edit, I would actually do that. <laughs> also, Arlequino's music is awful. I'm sorry. Carry out any special missions within Fontaine. Bring back you, Ping Chen. <laughs> Transfixed. Everlasting. Bring back you, Ping Chen. Moon. Who's gonna see six R five R Lakino? We'll see. We'll see how I feel. We'll see. Uh, I want to play her at C zero first and see if I even like her. An order once given cannot be rescinded. Do you have any idea what you're doing? You're hiding the very person Father has been trying to find. I really didn't mean to drag anyone else into this. If Father finds out about this, everyone involved is going to be punished. We'll see how I feel. Traitor. Also, I would probably see 6R1. Um, I don't think I care about her 5-star weapon refines. Um, to be honest. I'm not as interested in them, especially because I have so many of the first great magics. I know was chosen, but he was not the only one. You'd like me to return my power? I'm really looking forward to this rite of duels. The wisdom of Hermanubis would have been ours. I want you to become the next king of the house. Yet you seem to have different ideas. I'm not saying I... Look at that. We'll let them fight. I have all the answers, but do... So After we'll all the changes, you're not sure if we'll even pull. Yeah, we'll see. I was sold on C3 um, when we thought we could do split up time rotations. Uh, but we can. So we'll see how this... We'll see how that goes. We'll tr I'm going to try to play them anyway, because I really want to. Away from Is it only good on Lenny? You can use it on Mono Cryo Ganyu. Being a real family. you Words painted. Us fight Arlequino is a weird design. Us fight Arlequino is a weird design. Nice cleavage, though. <laughs> I, don't, I don't exactly get it, but nice cleavage. <laughs> I don't exactly. Uh, yeah, I really don't understand this. Yeah, I really. Is she naked? She better be glued in. <laughs> she better be glued in. 
optimistic. This way. outfit is better than her actual outfit. Huh? Sure, indeed. Allow me to remind you, however. You who among us are willing to sip from a glass filled with tainted water. We, I'll make sure it's drained of all impurities and returned to its cleanest form. Here, good look. You guys can have a good look at her. Children who do I? She's just not wearing a shirt. <laughs> She's just not wearing. <laughs> she took the shirt off under her jacket <laughs> and put something in her hair. <laughs> and put <laughs> but she kept the tie on. <laughs> she... <laughs> Interesting. Leaks her real. <laughs> she took it off her shirt. <laughs> she used her shirt to cleanse the gnosis. Actually, having eight legs like a spider means Nephew K was correct. Uh huh. Nice. Bruh. Slider bar. Please. <laughs> Slider bar, please. Thank you. Uh, where? Wait, what? Where is it? Uh, this one. What do you guys think? I need to circle it. <laughs> I need to circle it. <sighs> if Kaiba's Electro, does that mean Sino will finally not be mid? I have no idea. I'm excited though. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea, but I'm excited to find out. Um, Sethos might be my most anticipated character of the year. <laughs> Sethos might actually be my most anticipated character of the year to Theorycraft. <laughs> Let's go, baby! <laughs> Let's go, baby! <laughs> Let's go, baby! What is Sethos? Is Sethos a five star? We have no idea. Sethos the Shielder? That'd be hype! We need an Electro Shielder. That would be insanely hype. <laughs> that would be insane. We really do need an Electro Shielder. That would be insanely hype. That would be... <laughs> Congratulations, Sethos. You have fixed all of the problems with Arlecchino immediately. Yeah, Electro Shielder with a buff would actually be amazing. Sino's second five-star support. Sino's four star support? I have no idea. What if he's just Shinobu? What if he's a second Shinobu? That's is that also hype? Would you guys be excited for a second Shinobu? A male Shinobu? He's probably a shielder. Sh Hyper Bloom Shielder? Shielder Shielder Kookie? Shielder Kooky? I would take Shielder Kooky. I would actually take that. He's a bow character. He can hold the elegy. Or Strengthless. Electro Shielder for Arlecchino, so I know. Electro Zingcho? You mean Fischl? <laughs> you mean... <laughs> Or Fav, or Fav. Shields suck. No. You mean zero scaling shield? Don't remember Kuki actually healing. Shinobu heals a lot. Shinobu is technically one of the best healers in the game. Uh, single target healer, at least. Huh?
Another razor. Do you know visions project elements like a hologram? Yes. It's always been a thing. Did you know Venti and Zhongli's don't because they're fake visions? But Yai's does. But Yai claims her vision is fake. So it might not actually be fake. Subtle details. Yeah, I might be a liar. She doesn't claim it's fake. Thought she did. She claims she uses it for next to nothing. You feel like doesn't have a vision. Yeah, he has a better fake vision. Yokai don't need visions. For Nivulet, we can't see Element, but we can see his arc. Nivulet doesn't have a vision. <laughs> uh, what Element is Sethos? Sethos is an electric character. Guys, yeah, didn't on release, they changed it. She does imply it's fake. They don't have breath in Dragon Spine because they don't breathe. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> yes! Aggravate Chevres. Yo, Sethos is an Elhatham buff? <laughs> Yo, Sethos! <laughs> They wouldn't. <laughs> they wouldn't. <laughs> uh, I think Sido needs it a lot more. They wouldn't. If you show your Nivulet build, will I calculate what it would look like? You can actually do that yourself with Genshin Optimizer. You can just pretend you have Nivellet and put optimize your artifacts. Akasha requires you to own the character. Sethus is the real five star. Clorinda's is support. Look, all I'm going to say, I'm very excited for Sethos. <laughs> I'm sold. I'm so <laughs> I don't care if he's crap. If he's crap, that's even funnier. <laughs> I'm very excited for this. What is the best way to put artifacts in an optimizer? If you have like an entire inventory, you use an inventory scanner, like uh, inventory camera with a K. One by one, Windows key shift S on your keyboard. And then control V onto the optimizer page. Is Arlequino Polar in the best shuttling weapon? No, it's terrible. <laughs> no, it's no, it's actually terrible uh, for that. Sorry. The best shuttling weapon is still Engulfing Lightning. Engulfing Lightning requires good artifacts? No. Engulfing Lightning requires you to like having ER. <laughs> you thought it's sauce? No, it's EO. At any real ER value, it's EO. 
What about Sino's weapon? Just use the L. Literally just build extra ER. <laughs> Literally just... <laughs> I don't give a shit about sauce. Just use the L. What is Nubia? Let's base HP? Fifteen thousand something? Sixteen thousand something? I don't think he has eighteen thousand. Fourteen thousand? Yeah. Luta has a better team. Huh? <sighs> Mizongli and Tuta with fifteen point five. Uh Nivillet has less. Same as Zhongli. Does Zhongli have less than Huto? Clearly, I don't remember. Huto is 15.5. Oh, yeah, he does have the same as Zhongli. Huto has the. No, she does not. Dia does. <laughs> Dia has the highest base HP. Dia is 15.6. <laughs> yes. D also has an HP ascension. Nilu? No, it's Dia. No, it's D. Nilu is this 15 1. <laughs> Rare Dia dub. Farina has 15-3. Nice. Yeah, Dia has the highest base HP of any character. By the way, go watch the Arlequino video. Nilu has an HP ascension, so does Dia. <laughs> if you didn't know, so does Dia. Dia has the highest HP of any character. It's just a fact. Make sure you go watch the new video. Go watch our Lakino video. What sort of DPS is Arlequino? Mono Vapor Cryo? Well, she's definitely not a Cryo DPS. <laughs> I can tell you that for sure. I can't. <laughs> yeah, YouTube comments are as toxic as YouTube chat on the stream. I don't, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I have no idea how else to describe it. <laughs> I have no idea. Look, all I'm gonna say, YouTube chat on the stream, you guys are constantly at each other's throats. You guys are... <laughs> they will... Some of YouTube chat will just constantly argue with each other. You know what I mean, 2024? Well, she is. <laughs> YouTube chat is a battlefield. You're objectively the best YouTube chatter. You're on Twitch right now. <laughs> Here's a good comment. <laughs> uh, here's a good comment. <clears throat> All the Harbingers in the game so far are mid. Tartalia pretty much have one meta team and that meta team can use Liddy for similar or better results. Wonder is just less meta than Zhao after Xian Yun release. Arlequino does seems stronger than Hu Tao either. <laughs> Base YouTube comment. 
from uh, King of Doom 5022. <laughs> Midamush Midakino, Winnie Gigachad. YouTube Toxic is better than Twitch Brain Dead. Ooh. <laughs> uh. Doesn't he know Clorind is the best character in the game? C1 or R1? If C1, I'll probably use Homa with her. Death matches age really well, especially at R5. Yes, it has. Characters that provide a big shield to ball characters. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no. I think they're not going to touch ball. I don't think they're going to touch ball. I hope Arlequino does get shield support, though. That would be cool. Or a Bennett that doesn't heal would also be really cool. For completely unrelated to Arlequino reasons. <laughs> Can we bring back sub-50? If we can get sub-50 teams to be as good as Farina teams, that'd be pretty pog. Tain refer to Peak Ghana and Peak International. Comments that have aged horribly. Comments! <laughs> Genshin takes that have aged the worst. Ugh, truly. Oh, my back. Pushing for a power creep to get rid of Bennett and Shang Ling. Shang Ling's done a very good job at getting rid of herself. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> um, <laughs> Shang Ling just kind of doesn't do enough damage anymore to be uh, as viable as a DPS by herself. Especially for newer players. It is significantly easier to do something like Pull Me Violet <laughs> than it is to build Shang Ling. Or even Hyper Bloom. Marauder will bring her back. Trust you? Alright, I'll trust you. Is Chung Ling's best team Hyper Bloom? No. Not quite. Uh, but it generally involves Freena now. But it. You could make an argument that Chung Ling's best team is stale international, but that's more of a problem than it is a benefit. It's Vape and Violet, obviously. That's still a Farina team. <laughs> Ideally. That's not very well. You like Shang Ling, we're Navia? That's fair. It feels horrible to play. I don't know if it feels horrible to play. It feels painfully inconsistent.
Wow. Jeanette versus Lenny is kind of the same. Lenny kind of just does more damage. In most cases. And Lenny also has better teams now, which is quite funny. Um, very often the fastest Lenny teams now will just be vape. <laughs> For Arena turned Lenny into a vape character. Uh, for most uh, speedruns. You don't know what is dead, but you think it's good. Fair enough. Um, is there anything else we need to do right now? What does a Noel Farina team look like? It looks like Noel Farina, another Geo character, and Yelan. Or you could do Triple Geo if you really wanted to. I hate vape so much, why does it then go back to vape? Because it uses an extra stat. Um, things that, like, the reactions that scale with EM are kind of just always going to eventually outperform giving infinite stats. As an example, it's a lot easier to farm a set with EM than it is a set with no EM. It's a lot easier to get EM than it is to have zero. <laughs> there are a lot of 100 EM Eulas out there and uh, 100 EM Ayakas out there. Can I watch the live stream? I did watch the live stream. How do you make a melt support? You make Shenho's C6 her C0. For melt only. Um, or if only if there are pyro characters in the team. <laughs> Um, otherwise, what would you do? Make a better Shungling. It's kind of unavoidable. I'll be right back. Yo, yo, yo. <sighs> Let's do the Sethos farm real quick. Kaze, yo. Just realized Sethos Kaiba is challenging Sino to a duel. Uh, grab all the scarabs. Sethos farm. Sethos farm, yes.
Never forget the Sethos farm. We're pre-farming Sethos. I just accidentally killed one. Nah, you ain't farming scarabs. Are the mats leaked? No, I'm making a joke. I'm gonna talk about Chronicled Wish. There is no other Chronicled Wish. Um, none of the other regions have enough characters to eat. run one. They could run a leeway one after Baiju rerun, or they might just wait for Shenha to rerun another time. And Nilu needs one more rerun before they can do a Sumeru one. That's why Baiju's rerunning, yes. Wait, Shenna's only had two banners? Yes, Shenna's only had two banners. They do not run Shenha very often. Nilu needs one more banner, Shenha needs one more banner. And I think that's it. Oh, Al Haytham needs one more banner as well. So look for those characters next patch. Uh, I'd probably be willing to bet 4.7 will have Al Haytham, Nilu, Shenha. I would probably, I'd probably be willing to bet on it. Meh, maybe not. They need to choose new five stars. Okay, it'll have one of them at least. It'll be Farina. Farina, Chlorind. Nilu, Alhatham? Or Nilu Shenha? Sigwin? Is Sigwin a five star? <laughs> Is Sigwin a... Are we sure? <coughs> Shenho with Riesley. Sig L. We have Nilu Sword, but no Nilu. Shen hurry run with Riesley? Probably. Riesley with Nilu? Uh, probably Shen with Riesley. With Riesley. It could be Farina, Shen Ho, Riesley. They could do Farina, Shen Ho, Riesley, Clarend. That's a lot of Fontaine, though. I don't think they would do that. They could, though. Maybe 4.8 will be the Riesley rerun. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to go on the limb. 4.8 will be the Riesley rerun. It'll also be alongside a Sumeru Chronicled Wish. I'm going to go out on the limb and say that. To us, I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna claim it. Sumeru one. I think they're more likely to do a Sumeru one than they are a uh, uh, Leo one, which is kind of funny. Well, okay. You need six characters. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, they'd have to rerun Alatham and Nilo. They'd have to rerun Alatham and Nilo. Reality is the next Chronicle that won't happen until 6.5. <laughs> it is just an excuse for to put Cleon Banner. Bruh. Nihu? Nihu! 
If a character reruns in Chronicled, they'll never get a banner again. I mean, Chronicled is a banner. It's really just a banner. There's no, not a real reason to read too much into it. Just means they aren't marketing them as hard. But they don't do a lot of marketing for on banner anyway. They don't do any. Um, or barely do any. They announce them on Twitter. <laughs> if it's expected to be a really big banner, they'll announce it three weeks ahead. Oh. If they really want to build hype. It feels like a life sentence. Why, though? Not liking Fontaine characters, saving for Shenhe and Nilu has put you in quite the drought. <laughs> That's my. <laughs> I, I would see this as an, I would see that as an absolute win, to be honest. Sino Story Quest Act Two releasing without him on banner. Opinion on most Fontaine characters being DPS, it sucks. At least they're good DPS. You don't think Yulikli Chiori will ever get a banner again? Oh, Chiori minus. You're talking about Albedo. Yes. If they put Vortex and Chronicles, you have Zhongli a better weapon. It's too late. If they were going to give Zhongli a five-star weapon, they would have done it by now. <laughs> it's, it's way too late. They really should have done, on shield generation, give crit rate. Millennial Movement Series polearm. They really should have. But it's too late now. The way Chronicle will buy you in his donuts. Fav HP percent. You know, I talked about Sumeru Chronicle. I believe I forgot Inazuma characters existed when I made that, when I said that. Um, oopsies. <coughs> uh, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Forgetting Ina Zoomins is natural. Oops. There won't be an Ina Zoomin Chronicle because there isn't an Ina Zoomin standard. I don't think they care. Inazuma's forgettable. Ido's very memorable. I remember him every update. The last Shenho banner was 11 patches ago. Ido is memorable because he keeps coming back. <laughs> I saw an interesting conversation on my Discord. Uh, they were talking about Honkai Star Rail versus Genshin. And someone said, it's really hard to get attached to characters in Honkai Star Rail because they feel like they get phased out so often. I'm not sure if that's cope or if there's something to that. No, that's true. You 100% agree. <laughs> no, that's true. Okay, sorry. has too many characters with no depth. Cope. Feels crafting. Yeah, that's why you left. True. You pull meta. They're all whatever. There are too many characters in too little time. The Stellaron Hunters are the best faction.
If you see the Firefly main sub, you'd think they'd be engaged to her for 10 years. Still fun with Sashong. True, except for Sampo, your goat. <laughs> Because Genshin also goes through long stretches where characters just aren't in the story. Um, we'll get events with uh, Mondstadt characters, but Mondstadt characters have not been in the story since a very long time ago. <laughs> it's really just events, and the events aren't that frequent. Um, same with the Inazuma characters. We had an Ayaka Yoimiya event. We have a lot of Ito events, but Raiden literally hasn't been in the story for two years, or in anything for two years. Raiden is an Archon, you feel like we barely see it, because you, you can't see her. She, she doesn't have a physical form. <laughs> she doesn't have a physical form. <laughs> Riding can't appear at events. Uh, they kind of played themselves. <laughs> they kind of played them. Riding was in 3.3 and 3.7. She was? Huh? Yes? I actually forgot. I actually forgot. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot. As we were saying, the Inazuman characters are very forgettable. <laughs> when did Aido last appear for anything? Two patches ago? <laughs> Two patches ago. Aido was in the Chiori event? Aido was in the Chiori With Aika and Yoimiya? <laughs> for real? The true purpose of Raiden is to show the shy side of Sara. Yoimiya is one of the few characters that have two story quests. Hey! She's being joined by Sino. Don't sleep on the Sino story quest next patch. <laughs> Sino Act 2. Raiden is one of the more memorable characters in Inazuma, but she never appears. Criteria for Act 2. Be Archon or be mid? Huh? Don't be rude. Sino Act 2 is actually Sethus Act 1. It's Seth... If Sethus is a four star, that would be why he doesn't have a uh, story quest. <laughs> Maybe it's somewhere that injures Mika for Eula. So you doubt Sethus is good for Sino? <laughs> so you doubt. <laughs> you, and look. Sethos can be good for Sino, he can be terrible for Sino. All I know for sure is I will be there. <laughs> I will. I will theorycraft it. We will make jokes. It'll be a very fun time. We're gonna have a blast with this one. He could even be like literally Sino again and I'd have a blast with it. I will be there. What if he's an Electro Shielder? I really want an Electro Shielder. I really want an Electro Shielder. Uh, that could make Sethos one of the best four stars of all time. <laughs> or one of the best four stars in recent memory. 
He could be up there with Clorind if he's a, if he's literally just an extra shielder with a small buff. That's all he would have to be. A little bit of damage, some electro app. Literally, that's all you would have to be. Plot twist, Electra applies to you? Makes him bad with Bennett? That'd be funny. The shield just nukes itself if you play with Bennett? That'd be really funny. What if it's a Sino, Eula, and Arlequino buff? I'm sorry, but the entire metagame of Genshin Impact revolves around Sethos. <laughs> Sethos is simply just the most important character to have on an account. If you don't have Sethos, you're literally griefing yourself. Oh, See, we're gonna have a blast of this one. <laughs> I will be there. I will be there. I will be there. This is gonna be a fun beta. <laughs> this, is be a... this is actually gonna be a fun beta. Sethus salesman, your account is unplayable without Sethus. Sethus, this accounts are bricked. Sethus, this behavior. Yo. Sethus is the best option on every team. Sethus is the kooky alternative. Sethus is better Shinobu for Hyperbloom, but he's a shoulder instead of a healer. Reroll your account until you get Sethos from Standard. Sethos Skipper's seething. Bro, who is Sethos? Bro, who is Sethos? Sethos Kaiba. He's Sino's friend and sworn enemy. He's Sino's friend. It's gonna be a blast. Simultaneously, a DPS healer, buffer, and debuffer? Why are we talking about Lynette? Oh? Lynette? Lynette is a character that actually just does everything. She even heals herself. <laughs> Lynette is the Jack of All Trades character in Genshin Impact. <laughs> Sethos will regen your SP. Bruh. <laughs> Friendship ended with Tainari. Now Sethos is my best friend. Sure. I do need to make sure you didn't send me anything that I shouldn't open. <laughs> so this spawns a blue eyes dragon. Do I think Sethos will play in teams? Uh, I don't know. Ugh. Solo DPS. Give every card he's a must pull. I think I'm gonna take off. Go eat lunch.
I think. And we will be back later tonight. All right. It's Sethus' role is do bad jokes. He and Sino can do all the bad jokes while drunk. <laughs>